and welcome back to another Chinese food adventure. And I don't think I've ever eaten so much food in one video before. Little backstory, there is a famous food chain here in China called Sha Xian Xiao Chi, Sha Xian Delicacies. And as you can probably tell by the name of this store, it sells delicacies from Sha Xian. It specializes in cheap, no frills food and the menu is notoriously huge. It's like super, super popular, famous here in China. By the end of 2020, Sha Xian Delicacies had more than 30,000 stores in mainland China, which was more than the number of McDonald's, KFC, Pizza Hut, and Burger King combined. But something that may surprise you guys is I've actually never eaten at Sha Xian Xiao Chi before. And the reason for that is actually kind of weird. So I don't know when, but I made a promise to myself that I've held very steadfastly to over the years that I would not eat at Sha Xian Xiao Chi, at Sha Xian Delicacies, until I came to Sha Xian and had the authentic local Sha Xian Delicacies delicacies in Sha Xian for myself. Anyway, I didn't know when I would actually have the opportunity to come to Sha Xian, but guess what? Yesterday I was in Anxi making a video about Tie Guai Yin Tea and I saw on the map Sha Xian was only two hours away. I'm currently in the city of Sanming. It's here in Sanming where you'll find the district of Sha Xian, also known as the birthplace of Sha Xian Xiao Chi. And I come with one mission and one mission only, and that is to eat snacks. But it's not just me. Today I'm accompanied by my friend who is filming Meng Zai. Hello! Hello everyone! <laughs> it wasn't long before I came across a sign for a local snack, Luo Lan Shao Bing. Where's the entrance? I went in the door closest to the sign, but I wasn't really too sure if I was heading in the right direction. But when I turned the corner, I was engulfed by the most amazing smell coming from what these two were making, which turned out indeed to be the Luo Lan Shao Bing. Hey, so I ordered two shaobing filled with pork and scallion. Look how good this looks, oh my goodness. And a nice crunch on it too. Mm, mm. Crispy, really sesame. As well as this super fragrant oniony flavor from the filling. Mm, as soon as I said we got to get something to like soften the palate, my, one of my favorite things, su guo tang, you can get it here. This is a great success. Just as I'm finishing my shaobing, which you're right, it is very dry. We're gonna get some su guo tang, which is something that I found in Xiaomen that I really, really liked. No, it's really, really good. And I forgot, I'm back here in, in Fujian. I should be able to find it. But it's not quite as I remembered it. In Xiaomen, my su guo tang was topped with coconut milk, but this time they've used what seems to be a honey syrup. I have to say, I do prefer the coconut milk version, but I do love that it was still chock a block full of fruits, jellies, and textures, as well as being super refreshing during this crazy Fujian heat wave. It is so hot today in Sha Xian. Feels like 46 degrees. Uh, I feel like I say this every episode that I am in the South. Oh my God, it's so hot. I'm sweating through my face. Story of my life. Actually, fun fact, um, I sweat most on my body out of this place in my face right here. And um, I always wear sun sunscreen because I like to protect my face. But the problem is the sunscreen that I wear is often not like water resistant. So this bit will always like sweat off immediately. And then I end up getting this really awkward tan here in summer. So sometimes in certain lighting, it looks like I have a mustache. So if you watch my videos and you see what looks like a mustache, that's what it is. I'm not like, nothing against mustaches. I just personally don't have one. Okay, enough with the mustache memoirs. Time for our next Sha Tian snack. I can understand why Sha Xian is so famous for its snacks. There are literally snacks everywhere. On this street here, pretty much every store I'm passing is somehow related to snacks. Literally everywhere you look, <laughs> there are snack stores. We found a sign for something called Bian Rou, which neither of us had ever heard of before. So we decided that would be our next snack. <laughs> Oh, it's just Quindon. And it seems we came to the right place because this sign here indicates this restaurant is a traditional skill bearer and has handed down the skill of making this food for generations and generations. Wow, okay. I could not believe how fast those were wrapped up. Now this really is fast food and it's completely handmade. She did it literally right in front of my eyes and in under a minute it has gone from being nothing to in my bowl. Well, almost in my bowl. She's about to put them in now. <laughs> First, she seasons the wonton soup with spring onion and some other secret things. Then the juicy wontons are plopped inside. Very thin kind of skin. You can see through it to that beautiful pork there. Dumpling. <laughs> 
就直接吃，直接吃，直接吃，直接吃就好了。Okay, it looks really delicate. That skin is so fine. 好，好，很鲜，嗯，很鲜，非常鲜。Amazing texture of that meat inside. 那个猪肉有一点像虾滑，虾滑，对，有一点像虾滑。In short, I loved everything about this, and frankly, I can't recall ever enjoying a wonton so much. 人好少啊，这种路口都没有什么车。你觉得是天气的原因吗？有可能是天气原因，因为很晒，特别晒。对，然后大家都窝在家里，有可能晚上会出来。怎么样？这边的房价好便宜啊！是吗？才刚才五十八万就可以买到一个小学附近的房子。就北京房价那边，我打听到的最便宜、最便宜的是一二百万。哇塞！一二百万还觉得是便宜的。你看这边，十几万就可以拿下一套房子。我的天哪！我的天哪 ！Let's go buy something a little more in our budget. Some Shaxian style shaomai, but they definitely don't look like any shaomai I've ever had before. 我真的没想到会这个样子，我也没有想到。The skin is super transparent. They're very jiggly, and they're served with this garlicky soy sauce mix. And it almost looks like it's made out of like um fins. And that's because it is. It's filled with vermicelli noodles as well as a teeny tiny bit of meat. So let's do a little shawmai operation. Look, we're gonna open up the. Oh, look. It reminds me of the scene in Star Wars: Empire Strikes Back, Episode Five, when Han Solo is cutting into that animal, and then all the guts come out. That's what that reminded me of. Mm. It's like really good. The texture is interesting to say the least. 咱们一般就是那边吃的烧麦都是都是这个样子，对对这个样子，然后里面有包包东西，嗯，但是这个居然是透明的，里面还有粉丝。We also went searching for the meat that is apparently also inside. 你看，这个汁真的是。Um, a garlic. So every place we go to has this massive menu on the wall, and the prices are so reasonable. So just now we had the shao mai, which were six ramen bi. Bian rou, ten ramen. Ten ramen. That shao bi, two ramen. Two ramen. This little shop is so cheap. Yeah, really cheap. Then the shrimp is so expensive. We can't eat so much. I think to eat all of the snacks in Shaxian, I would need at least two days. I'm now in the south. I don't like the south. It's so big. Because if I'm alone in the south to eat, I can only eat one meal. In the south, I don't have friends. It's really sad. If you're in the south, you should be my friend. But in the south, you can eat these things. Okay, let's try it. Oh, my God. It's like the meat is so juicy. 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 And believe it or not, there's still a lot more to come. Do you have space? Of course. Okay, let's go. Now I can stay. Look, look how many small meals. On this side. I don't really know what this is. It looks like some kind of maybe rice noodle chongfen type situation, and this really interests me. Taro dumplings. So this is our first dish on our table. 有一点像肠粉，有一点点。So we set about mixing it all together, making sure to get that slightly garlicky, slightly sweet soy sauce on every fold of rice noodle. Cheers. Cheers. It has a challenge. Yes, it has a challenge. I like its taste because I like to eat the meat. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. Again. At least you have a napkin here. It's your first time using it. Definitely one of those meals that had me questioning, Amy, why did you decide to wear white today? Not long after, our taro dumplings arrived, topped generously with peanut sauce. I'll eat a bit of this one. Oh, it's raw. Oh! Wow! Turns out it's the skin that's made from taro, which is what gives it its special consistency. Step aside, mozzarella pool. These days, it's all about the taro dumpling pool. Oh, oh! Miraculously, still clean. I still think it's the inside. The inside is rice, rice, and rice. It's a nice mix of like, Slightly sweet and salty, and the peanut butter on top. Today, the food has carbs. How do you say? The amount is too high. My jet fuel is too high. Outside, the three hours is like a normal meal. This is cooked in a small oven. Yes, we. 刚才吃的每一个都是现做的，就跟你们自己在家里面吃的东西是一样，都是自己做的，纯手工做的。你在外面吃过啥现炒吃吗？我在外面都做过。然后你觉得味道和这里不一样吗？这里更好吃吗？
，每一家每一家的味道都不一样。我自己差不多吃饱了，我也吃的差不多。那这样吧，嗯、我们休息一会儿，回酒店、嗯、睡觉，睡觉。然后可以晚饭，晚饭我们再出来吃。对对对，因为我还有很多想吃的。This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> So we've had a couple of hours of rest at the hotel, and I've actually done some research in my spare time because we've eaten quite a lot of snacks already today, and I kind of want to know where we should go to get the rest of our snacks that I want to try. Um, and I've actually found a restaurant that's like the top-rated restaurant here in Shaxian. And may I say, Shaxian at night, it's different. So this is the place. So it looks like there are a lot more people out and about during the night time. You can see people are kind of along the streets, and inside here it's actually super packed. And the best way to describe this place is some kind of snack paradise on earth. And here it's more cafeteria style. You just grab a tray and pick whatever you like the look of. I personally just grab things I thought looked interesting that, of course, I hadn't already eaten today. So this is what I ordered. First up, a plate of ban mian, which is basically noodles mixed with peanut sauce. Next, this yummy looking bun stuffed with what I believe is bamboo shoots. This intriguing looking. Tofu snack is called Jin Bao Yin. It's literally translated as silver wrapped in gold. Sounds nice to me. And finally, a plate of fried dumplings. We're going to eat this, right? Otherwise, this one is too cold. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it smells so good. I love hua sheng jiang. Guys, if you like peanutty flavors, you'll love this. I know I did. I think this might be my favorite thing I've eaten today. The noodles are a really nice consistency. They're like quite bouncy and chewy as well. So when you eat this, it's just like pure comfort. I think. 我我们也可以，嗯，趁热吃这个高铁，高铁，高铁，高铁。So we dipped our high-speed trains into this vinegary dipping sauce. 有一点淡，也没有那么的脆。我觉得高铁，高铁，高铁，高铁还是要要脆脆的，要脆脆的。然后这个不知道是什么东西，尝一尝。So it's basically tofu stuffed with pork, which has the most amazing springy yet juicy consistency. It's like a tofu sandwich. Oh, you're doing a lot. Cheese does not go no spice. So this here is our last snack of the day. I was very intrigued by this when I saw it getting made. It's basically a sesame bun filled with bamboo shoots. Its official name is Sun Jia Bing Bamboo Shoot Sandwich. The bun didn't have the crispiness I was hoping for, but the flavor made up for it. Oh, I love this. Tian tian suan suan de, 特别好吃。真酱真的是很好。I've said it once, I'll say it again. How I managed to get through this day without a stain on this white T-shirt is an actual miracle. 吃完这个最正宗的沙县小吃，我终于可以去体验一下连锁的那个沙县小吃，看一下，体验一下，有什么不一样的地方？我我挺好奇的。I'll see you in the future, wherever it is. Hello, it's about two weeks later. I am back in Changchun, but don't worry, I filmed a lot more videos in Fujian and also Guangzhou. So there's a lot of videos coming your way, but we're skipping forward to the future now. I'm back in Changchun. With this lovely man here, my boyfriend Dirk. Hello. And uh, yeah, I thought that now that I've actually been to Shaxian, it's time for me to go for the first time to Shaxian Xiaochi and actually try this uh, chain restaurant for the first time. There's only one problem: is we aren't actually able to eat inside because, as of a few days ago, there's been a COVID spike here in Chongchun, and yeah. today, how many cases? Like about 90. About 90, which is quite. If you're not in China and you, you're not sure. 90 is a lot of cases to have in yeah. one day suddenly. So no eating in at Chongchun restaurants right now, but the good news is we can still get takeout, which is what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm looking at the menu now. Look how long it is. Like so many things. If there's one thing I've taken away from this video, it's that there are a lot of Shaxian snacks. I just ordered from Shaxian. I'm from Shaxian. From Shaxian. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. You're Shaxian. Oh, they're actually from Shaxian. Oh, really? Yes. Actually, the food here might be pretty good because they are from Shaxian and they've opened this store here. I'm gonna get some wontons and I'm gonna get some noodles because I think those were the two things that I like the most in Shaxian. We have our wontons here and our ban mian. So my filming partner has found a hammock and he is currently indisposed. They have to offer a service where they feed you in here. <laughs> so I am going back to Old school style, selfie stick style. Let's try first these wontons. I remember in Shaxian these had such a strong impression on me. They were so juicy on the inside. Mmm, like still really delicious. Oh, you're back. Mm. Oh, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like really juicy. Oh, flavorful on its own and very generous. Like this is a 
This was eight renminbi. I'll try these. These were really good when I had them in um in Shaxian. They're peanutty noodles. Yeah, they look pretty good. Got to mix them up to get all that peanutiness. It's okay. This one's definitely not as good as the one I had in um in Shaxian, but it's you know definitely edible and more than edible. It's a cheap, quick eat that I'd be happy to eat again. Very nice. Better than I expected, to be honest. Especially those wontons. And your servant. <laughs> yeah. That brings us to the end of this uh, food adventure video. It's nice to have a taste of um, Shaxian here in in Changchun. This is what? This is Ah, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.